Welcome the first team to the stage. Um, the first team is comprised of Cindy, uh, Magic Mike, Malcolm, Ryan, and Krista. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Malcolm. Um, this is Team One, and we have created an app called Oyster My Oyster, and it is pretty much based off the William Oyster Project, which you guys have heard about before. Um, it is a team of people that are really dedicated and um, passionate about returning the oyster population back to the New York Harbor. Um, the app is targeted for kids ages like around six to seventeen, because Kids only just can influence their parents to buy stuff in the app and things like that. Um, our next speaker will be Brian, and we'll talk about the story. Hi, I'm Brian. So our app, which is a game, has a bit of a storyline to it. Uh, the protagonist is named Oscar the Oyster, and as you can see, he was living happily with his family, his oyster reef, till all of a sudden fishermen came and separated him, taking the rest of his family. And they took him away. Um, and left him with only five pearls, and one of them was cut off, but five pearls. And uh, so his objective is to take his pearls, recruit other oysters to join his reef and his family, and uh, replace his family. And this will be told throughout cutscenes in the gameplay. And this can actually relate to real life because in Manhattan itself, like the Hudson River, it is it. Pollution has just, it's gotten rid of the oyster population pretty much. It's pretty much made them extinct. And so they're gone, and that's, and it's because of the big businesses and their pollutants. And so they're polluting the river and they're killing the oysters, and that, that increases the cleanliness and it makes the, the reefs are there because it, uh, decreases flooding. And so our next speaker will be Mike talking about the gameplay. Thank you, Ryan. So the game is similar to Brick Breaker, where Oscar the Oyster will throw pearls to recruit other oysters to his reef to clean the water. As you can see on the left hand side there is a score and the score increases as this young man is playing the game. And on the right hand side there is a high score. So uh, Players can decide or yeah, see how well they're playing. There is also a checkbox in the corner, the bottom hand corner, where uh, it says sound, and you can basically decide which sounds you want to be played while you play the game. And now Cindy will be talking about our donation options. Um, so, since the target audience is the age range of about 6 to 17, and children are like usually, they usually have good persuasion skills and like, um, deciding what their parents should buy, like toys and stuff. Um, they can ask their parents to buy boosters and power-ups, and all these proceeds will go to the Billion Oyster Project, so good cause. And also, adults have the option to just donate to the Billion Oyster Project. Right, so in our next version, OMO 2.0, we will have various upgrades, such as a loading screen with fun facts, such as, did you know that oysters can live about 20 to 30 years? And after that, we will have quizzes by the end of uh, a couple levels, and that will kind of test uh, players and see how well they retain the information and how well they can associate the game with reality, because the game's main objective is to educate users about the real world. And if you want to play the game later, please go to the link below, oystermyoyster.azurewebsites.net. And Chris Alba will be talking about how this is implemented in uh, the Billion Oyster project. Um, our main point for the OMO, or Oyster My Oyster game, is so that uh, the Billion Dollar Oyster project can uh, you know, use our game and bring it to younger ages, like as our students said, ages 6 to 17, so that people of all ages can play this game and donate so that they can clear New York Harbor of all these dead oysters, but we put some blue oysters so that we can filter the water and have a cleaner heart in it. Well, thank you for the time.